the Ryobi soldering iron, which is a great tool. And it was one of my favorite tools actually for fixing classic bikes and cars and tinkering around outside. And it was fantastic right up until the point it broke. It's really frustrating actually, because I think it probably lasted about four or five months. It's got a three year guarantee or warranty, but to be honest with you, I couldn't bother to send it back and have all the form filling trash. Um, so I've taken it apart, had a look inside, and there you go. Got a pretty basic heating element there, with a sensor on it. So I've ordered a new one for China, and you probably guessed it's just a cheap Chinese two pound thing, which looks pretty much identical to the one in there. So I'm going to swap it over and see whether that fixes it, which hopefully it will. Right, so the first step is to remove the old heating element because this one doesn't work. It burnt out, I'm assuming what the hot spot is there. I can't say I'm surprised because it's an absolutely lousy fit for Ryobi. A bit disappointing really that this uh, is about just under 5 mil, and there's a reasonably loose fit on here, which is hardly great for thermal transfer. The new one, the replacement, is slightly bigger and it's got quite, it's not a tight fit, but it's, um, it doesn't wobble around like this one does. So I can't, surprise, can't say I'm surprised that bust at all. So first thing we need to do is get this off here. You'll see down there on the board, it says H, S, S, H, plus and minus is on them. So that'll be the heater and the sensor. And so obviously we've got two reds, two blues, and I'm assuming 99% sure, of course, that the heater of the red and the blues will be the sensor. So what we need to do now is just remove that, desolder it, stick the new one on. Okay, so I fitted the new heating element that's all soldered on. And whilst I was at it, I changed the thermal fuse as well, which looks like this. 240 volt 10 amp and it's 133 degrees C for this one and that's obviously just the thermal overheat protection anyway so change that and all we need to do now is reassemble it so it's back together let's just now test it see if it gets hot Yeah, well, it's an absolute treat. So that's how you fix it. Simple as that. It's pretty broke, really, in the first place, isn't it? But there we go. At least it's repairable. Total cost is about uh, £3, so it's not too bad. It's worth fixing.